Hey what's up everyone, it's Steph from Steph Lee Films. For the purpose of today's video, I will use the term A10 Mini as a simple reference to the original A10 Mini, the A10 Mini Pro and the A10 Mini Pro ISO so you won't get confused because what I'm going to teach you will work for all three versions of the A10 Mini. So we all know the powerful capabilities of the A10 Mini and the console itself has a streaming engine that we can all go live on streaming platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, etc. But to do that, the A10 Mini needs to be able to connect to the internet, right? So in today's video, I will teach you how to connect your A10 Mini to the internet using your laptop. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First up, you need to connect your laptop to the internet. So either you can do that using an ethernet cable to connect your laptop to your router or use the Wi-Fi connection either from your home or office or wherever you are. I'm not going to detail on how to do that because I am safely assuming you know how to connect your laptop to the internet, which is via the physical cable or wirelessly. Secondly, I'm predominantly a Mac user, but the steps I teach you should work pretty similarly for Windows laptops or PCs as well if you understand the concept. So once the laptop is connected to the internet, open up system preferences here, go to sharing, check on internet sharing here, and make sure it says share your connection from Wi-Fi to computers using this USB gigabit ethernet. It may look slightly different from your computers, but basically it means the LAN port on your computer. Then make sure the internet sharing on green light is here. Next, we will connect the laptop to the A10 mini using an ethernet cable. Because I'm using a Mac which has no Ethernet port, I am using this USB to Ethernet adapter port here, which I plug in the Ethernet cable and the USB connection here to my laptop and the Ethernet port here to the A10 mini. So once everything is connected, boot up the A10 mini by powering it on. Wait for a little while and you can see that the connection between your laptop and the A10 mini is established. Alright, the final step is to confirm that your A10 mini has successfully connected to the internet. We all know that now the laptop and the A10 mini has already been connected. But do we know that it is on the internet for sure? So for myself, I find the following way most reliable and seemingly quickest. Go to your YouTube account if you don't have one, you can create one. Then click on go live. Then leave everything as is and it says here. Connect streaming software to go live. Then go to your A10 mini and press the on air button and wait for about 10 to 15 seconds, which usually is a little bit shorter. You will see that the screen here changes to live and the clock starts ticking which means that your A10 mini has successfully connected to the internet. So there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to connect your A10 mini pro to the internet using your laptop. I hope that you find this video useful and before I end this video, I would like to say it really means a lot to me if you found any of the information I shared today useful and if you can give this video a like. So it encourages me to continue making such videos for you. If you have any comments, do feel free to leave them below so I can work on my future video content and bring you something that you like. If you want to learn more about photography and videography, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell. And of course, do check out two of my other videos here. And as always, if you have any questions, please let me know.